Hey guys, welcome back to Need a Live. For those who are new here, this is my boyfriend Chris, and we'll be doing a Q&A for y'all. So, Anita went ahead and created a Q&A via Instagram for you guys to ask us any questions that you guys had about our relationship. So let's uh, dive in and see what you guys came up with. All right, so let's go ahead and do the first question. So first question, what's your guys' show and what's it about? So technically, this is my YouTube channel. Um, what my YouTube channel is about is um, a vlog about my life. So I, like I said, in, when I first started it, it's gonna be basically about anything that's going on around me or about like my acting, my singing. Um, and then Chris is also a big part of my life. So I also feel like you guys like seeing him, like, like seeing us together. So um, there's definitely gonna be a lot of videos with me and him amongst other, other videos that I have. Get used to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so second question how did you guys meet uh, so we actually met at a little diner called norms in Southern California um, her grandma was a regular there and then we actually had mutual friends went to the same gym and just kind of like had all these moments where we could have met each other and then she started working there and uh, yeah I kind of went from there it just boing. yeah we officially met at norms but like he said like Prior to that, I had seen him at the gym. I always thought he was cute, but um, I was never gonna approach him. And then my grandma oh, goes sick. to norms every single time. So then I seen him there and I was like, hmm, the cute guy from the gym works here. Um, and then my grandma asked the manager to give me a job. She did, we started working together and then boom, the rest is history. It got her, man, that's what I'm telling you. And it's where life happens, right? Isn't that what's norms? Um, What's their logan? Where life happens. Yeah, where life happens. And it definitely did. So the next question is, um, how was the first date? Who made the first kiss? The first move to kiss? So first date. First date, Pasadena. We went to uh, Neon Arcade. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. She kicked my ass in Street Fighter. <laughs> then I kicked her ass in Mario Kart. And it just kind of went from there. Uh, First kiss wasn't even on our first date. No, our first kiss didn't happen until like the seventh date. Yeah. Chris was being such a chicken about it. Like he was not making any move. And we went to the um, the drive-in theater and I was laying down and he decided to lay on top of me. He gave me those little eyes and I looked at him and I was like, are you gonna kiss me or not? And then he finally kissed me. <laughs> And then I asked her after we kissed, didn't I tell you like finally or something like that? I yeah. said something. Hey, I was just trying to be respectful, people, yeah. especially in this day and age. True, I do respect that. Fair enough. So it was, it was, it was cute. I ain't gonna lie. All right, next question. Who said I love you first? Um, you definitely said I love you first. Yeah, I did. Um, we were in your car, I remember it too. We were laying down in the back of your seats mm -hmm. and um, you were a little nervous, I can remember. And I think you said, I don't know if this is like too soon or not, but... I love you. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. And um, the reason why he said that, we felt, I feel like we fell in love like pretty fast, which is crazy to say. Um, we weren't even dating for like, a long time maybe like a i think months. that same day that you asked me no that you told me that you loved me you asked me to be your girlfriend yeah I'm and sure. we had only been dating for like a month yeah and and it just clicked and it's just weird because i've well i've never experienced something like that and back then i, I used to be one to be like there's no way somebody can fall in love with somebody that fast like and especially because we had just recently got out of relationships like mm -hmm. pretty serious ones and then here we are dating for uh, Almost two less and a half. than yeah. We're dating for less than a month and we already love each other. Mm. And I just thought that was like really crazy, but And we're gonna be happens. going on two and a half years, so I mean it worked. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um how did he ask you to be his girlfriend or did I ask you? That was I asked you. It was the same it was the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same day. Just asked her. Still nervous, so it was the same time that I had asked her <laughs> that, that I, or I told her that I loved her. So, yeah. He asked me, he told me he loved me, and then told me that I didn't scream. Yeah. Boom. 
Okay, next question. Um, how are you guys doing during how are you guys doing during this quarantine? Any hobbies both of you guys like doing? Uh well uh, we don't really get to see each other at all quarantine. I mean, we see each other like every other weekend. Uh, just because we live distance. She lives in Norwalk. I live in West Hills. Which is, About an hour. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a ways. But me, personally, what, how I keep occupied is uh, I'm a Lego kind of guy. Uh, plug my channel. I'm just kidding. Sure, uh, yeah, give your channel a shout out, babe. Brick Art. Yeah, uh, Chris also has a YouTube channel for his Legos. Yeah. Um, so for all my nerds out there that are also Lego nerds or just nerds in general, definitely plug in that. Brother, uh. <laughs> um, but that's your hobby. Yeah. Legos are Chris's hobbies for sure. Um, one of the hobbies that I have during this quarantine right now is doing my YouTube channel. And that's what's basically, basically, basically. <laughs> Basically, basically keeping me a little sane because I'm doing something that I enjoy and possibly can help me out with my future. So I'm I've been very excited with this whole YouTube thing. Nice. Um. So next question. Let's go. Hmm, what's your favorite thing about him, and what's his favorite thing about you? You can go first. Okay. Um, one of my favorite things about Chris is how smart he is. Um, Chris is very smart. He can contain a lot of information. Like he's one of those people that will look at like, he'll be watching like Animal Planet or something and he'll remember every damn animal that he sees from there. Like it amazes me how much information this guy can um, retain. <laughs> and it's not only animals, it's like just everything in general. So I, ver I, I like that a lot about him. And also we're talking a little like physical, what I like about you is well, everything he's built is pretty, is pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah. Uh, for me, the biggest thing that I love about her is definitely like she keeps me grounded. Um, I get stressed out like that. Uh, if you've ever driven in the car with me, you, you would know. <laughs> uh, road rage. Road rage. Um, yeah, so she keeps me really level-headed and really grounded, especially on times where I feel like stress or things are just piling up on me. Makes me feel real at home. Feel safe. Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> um, your phone keeps locking. All right. Okay. All right. Next question. Next question. Do you guys picture having kids in the future? Not saying you have to, or traveling around the world. Actually, we plan on doing both. Uh, we've talked about this many times. Um, I want to hit a couple of places where it's just us or even if it's like family and stuff that we get to enjoy yeah. before we bring kids out into this world to be honest we aren't planning to have kids maybe like five years from now yeah so i actually wanted to have kids like kind of sooner i guess or right away mm -hmm. uh and she on the other hand didn't even want kids well maybe one mm -hmm. at first one and then for me i wanted a big family i wanted like five kids at the minimum then I realized Disneyland, <laughs> school, cars. I was just like, all right, maybe three at max. And, uh, but uh, we do this, like the summer camp, I guess, during the summer, <laughs> uh, great wordplay. Anyways, uh, we do this summer camp in Houston and it kind of gave me a real eye opener that I want kids later in life. So. I just feel like I want to, um, enjoy our company a little yeah, more because fun. once a kid comes like I don't have kids but like I know other people that do it's like they are your main priority and you have to prioritize them sometimes your kid gets in the way of yeah. your your hubby's time and your time you know so yeah. I like our time very exactly. much exactly so. <laughs> right now our relationship is main priority yeah so that's that's where we're at with that right <laughs> All right, next question. Long-term goals for each other as a power couple. Um, I don't really know how to answer that. I guess be the same as we are now or at least grow into like being better or being elite, I guess. I'm I, not too sure. I guess like 
like my long-term um, goals for each other as a power couple is we have talked about like I'm I'm trying to focus into doing like my acting and like bu building my YouTube channel, doing things that I enjoy and I and I we all want to enjoy, you know. So also is saving money um, to do things that we actually have to do and not stay in these jobs that. Um, are just basically paying the bills. Right. So that's the long-term goal for us, to do something that we enjoy doing. And it's not um, seen as, damn, I have to go to like my nine to five. Instead, going and doing what we love and getting paid for it and um, fulfilling our like dreams and goals of, yeah. of that. Okay, if that's the sense, then yeah, that's basically what it is. For us to grow in our careers, um, to be happy with each other, have a great family, you know? All the American dream kind of <laughs> For sure. All right, next question. Um, dream home ideas. So this is where we're gonna differ. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so for me, by the time I retire, I want a ranch. Um, I want like horses, cows, pigs, sheep, dogs, rabbits, all plethora of animals on the on the ranch. Um, and at the same time, I do want like the house to be a little bit more modern. Uh, a little bit more spacious, empty, if that makes any sense. Um, but now you can hear hers. Um, yeah, like his is very like ranch style, which I'm not opposed to it, but like me, I'm more of a modern, like yeah. a modern type chick. I like, um, I don't know how to describe. I like like marble, I like like long, big houses and not like, I don't know, low. Like ranch style is like they're more longer. They're not like story like two yeah. stories or so. I like I wouldn't mind being in a, like two in a bigger house. I don't know yeah. I don't know how to describe. I, I kind of actually so I think now that I think about it, we're actually not too different. But uh, when it comes to ranch style home, I still want like a Spanish villa type ordeal. I like that. And then from there, like the ranch around it, or like in the back or something. It's something just like um, it's uh, having animals is so much work. And I told them I was like, bro, you're gonna be out there by yourself. Hey man. <laughs> like I might go pet the little piggies or like ride the horses here and there, but I do not want to be picking up after them. But it's okay because we're gonna have enough money to have people to take care of them, unless you want to go out there and do it every day. That's kind of the thing. With when them. I retire, I'm gonna want to do something, right? So True. keeps me occupied. Anyways. Next question. Um, what what pet will y'all get together and what would y'all name it? So we were just literally about to pull the trigger on getting a Basset this week. Yeah, then it was $4,000 and we were like, woohoo, <laughs> sorry buddy. He was so cute, he was, he was so cute. cute. But honestly, I feel like it's gonna be a puppy and um, it's gonna be either like a Basset dog or like a giant schnauzer yeah. um, dogs because those are the dogs we like are thinking about getting or a weenie dog because yeah. we, it's still in the same like hound family. I'm a big hound guy. Yeah, he and I at first I did not like bassets because I thought they were like they were okay but like their eyes drip and they look faded all the time and like <laughs> They're just like these weird little looking dogs, but now they grew on me and but I they're think, so droopy yeah, and cute. They for, that's gonna be our dog. Um, Love the gels. And the names for it, he had already said if it's a boy, it's gonna be Duke. If it's a girl, Daisy. Daisy's up in the air though, because yeah. I know it's such a common name. So. Hey, it's a Western cowboy name for a little basset. Mm -hmm. no. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, our next question is, who, whose farts are the worst? Okay, guys, so. We don't fart in front of each other. That's one thing. It's yeah. Kind of weird. Um, we are very comfortable with each other. Like, Chris, like, it's not, I don't know. Very, very comfortable with each other. But something about, like, farting, I cannot, I can tell him that I want to fart. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll always try and be like, oh, I gotta fart. And he'll be like, well, fart. I just can't. Yeah. I can't do it. And if I do, it might be in my sleep, which I can't like, I, I have no control over that. <laughs> Shut up. Um, I have no control over that, but it will never be me like awake farting in front of him ever. So, all right. And same thing with him. So next question. What's your biggest pet peeve of one another? 
Well, we went over this in the last video. Food. <laughs> That's the biggest no, thing. No, no. Don't say mine. What of yours? Oh, yours is yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking my food. <laughs> I will go out of my way to be like, hey, I'll buy you your own plate you to like eat. Like but nah, dude. She's always got to take the camera on. Okay, this is my thing with him. Okay, just how he hates that I pick off his plate. This is my thing. He picks off my plate all the time. And I, what? yes, yes, you have. And like, you'll ask me, can I get some? And I never make faces. I never do anything. And the time that I do it, this is him. Are you really gonna, are you really gonna eat my food right now? You have your own food. And the thing is like, dude, it's just a bite. You're not gonna die over a bite. And that's what bugs me. I will share everything with him. I would give him my last dollar. But this man over here is just like, no, nah, I can't give you this little bit of my food. And that's why it's my biggest pet peeve. Biggest. <laughs> that I, I want to kick his ass sometimes. But that's like, honestly, the kind of like the only pet peeve that I have. Yep. And he's a little stubborn. We're trying to work on that. It's all, but, it goes out to all my fellows out there. Stay strong. <laughs> All right, so this is our last question. Um, one favorite memory of each other. Mm. Our one of our like first, I guess it was our first trip. There you go. Uh, we went to San Diego, and uh, honestly, the whole the whole trip was just a great time. We got an Airbnb. It was like this separate house garage thing that they made. Like it was a tower that was made out of like wood and everything. It was very old school and it was separate from the other building. So the actual tenants lived in the other house and then you would have to go through the back garage and yada, yada, yada to get to the uh, Airbnb. The place was so quaint, was so nice. Uh, you know, popped a couple of bottles. We were sweating. <laughs> 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 I don't um, know if people are gonna get that, but I would for sure will. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, and it was just uh, it was an awesome time. And then we ended up going to the San Diego Zoo that same weekend too. That was dope. It was really fun. Yeah, that, that was our first like that was little first mini trip, trip ever. Yeah. yeah, a little staycation kind of. Mm -hmm. And then other than that, like our Disney trips and everything, they're always fun. Um, one of my favorite memories is definitely when we go to festivals. Um, EDC was a lot of fun, um, but my like top favorite right now is still Coachella. Um, we went with an amazing group of people that like were a little more of his friends. Um, shout out Danny, shout out Juan. Yeah, it was super dope, and like they were the ones that we mainly knew, and but everybody else was like really nice and sweet, mm -hmm. and it just made like the experience that much better. And then even the time where we just had it with ourselves because they would be doing their thing, and it was just us two, like we were like vibing the yeah. whole time. And Coachella is like so much fun. It, it, camping, you guys should definitely do the camping. I mean, yes, you're sweaty. Yes, you have to wake up early to go in the showers and stuff. But it's definitely a, an experience you have to do where you're not in a hotel or like some place where you're not in mm -hmm. the camping grounds of Coachella. And what was really cool about the trip, or like when we were off doing our own thing, like we would see people that we weren't even gonna watch, like sets and stuff, and we were always pleasantly surprised and just had a great time. We discovered new artists. Yeah, yeah exactly. SG, great SG Lewis. Yeah. He was like, he came out, and I was like, what, dude? That was like, I thought it was on like drunk when I was listening to his set, and we were sober as shit. Like yeah. we were just there vibing with him, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, I, I think, think those are all our questions. Yeah. Um. Thank you guys for all the people that um, sent us questions to answer about our relationship. I really appreciate you guys so much. And um, we're just gonna end it here with um, the Q&A. Yeah, so uh, if you guys like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon too, so anytime that we post, uh, you'll go ahead and be able to watch it like that. Yeah, and you're definitely gonna see more of Chris in my videos, um, just because, like I said, we are, power couple and we might start <laughs> stop. we might start doing more videos because I enjoy him having here he gives me good directions so um, 
stay tuned for us and stay tuned for more of Anita Life. Later, Thanks. guys. Bye.